good morning children so let's start next chapter light shadow and reflection so children here we are going to talk about how light is important for us how it helps us to see things okay we'll talk about shadows right so we see so many objects around us on the way to school we see things like buses cars cycles trees animals and sometimes flowers how do you think we see objects think of the same place at night night time if it were completely dark what will you see suppose you go inside a completely dark room are you able to see any object in the room no but when you light a candle or a torch you can see the objects present in the room isn't it so without light things cannot be seen light helps us to see the objects okay the torch bulb is an object that gives out light of its own now here we are talking about what are the things that are called luminous luminous means the objects which gives lights okay they have their lights on its own right they give out the light so the torch it is an object that gives out the light the sun is another familiar object that gives its own light so during the day that gives uh, its light allows us to see the objects so objects like sun that gives out or emit emit out means gives out the light of their own are called luminous objects okay for example the torch the bulb okay sun they have their own lights what about the objects like a chair a painting brush a painting or a shoes we see the, these when light from a luminous objects like a sun torch or an electric light falls on these and then travels towards our eyes no in the dark room you are not able to see the object but when you hold a torch and when the light falls on the object the light reflects it bounces back to your eyes and the image of that object it is formed in your eyes all right so we are able to see the things only when the light falls on that object right okay children after that you can see here transparent opaque and translucent since we have studied it in the last chapter also what is transparent what is translucent and what is opaque so we are skipping that topic absolutely okay so the whole activity 1 is completely based on transparent translucent and opaque so we all know what is transparent when light passes through any object completely yeah when translucent light passes partially in opaque light doesn't pass at all mm. all right okay so now we'll move to activity number 2 what exactly exactly are shadows it is an activity 2 now one by one hold each of the opaque object in the sunlight opaque object means the object 
which is solid. Okay, light cannot pass through it. The object you have to hold in front of the sunlight, slightly above the ground. What do you see on the ground? When you only stand in, in the sun, you see your shadows at the back, isn't it? So why your shadow is there? Because you are an opaque, okay? You are an opaque object and you are, the light does not pass through it completely or partially. Hence, you are an opaque object and you are objecting or you are not allowing the light to pass through you so light passes through the sides right and that area which can which can which is including your body structure doesn't have any light so that area remains dark and rest of the area remains lighted okay hence you see your patch the dark patch of your size of your body right okay what do you see on the ground you know that the dark patch formed by each on each by each on the ground is due to its shadow sometimes you can identify the object by looking at its shadow now spread a sheet sheet of a paper on the ground hold a familiar opaque object means which you know that this is this at some height so that its shadow is formed on the sheet of a paper all right on the ground ask one of your friends to draw hmm. interesting draw the outline of the shadow while you are holding the object right draw outlines of the shadows of the other object in a similar way now ask some of some other friends to identify the object from these outlines of shadows how many objects are they able to identify correctly do you observe your shadow in the dark room can we see a shadow in the dark room or at night when there is no light do you observe a shadow when there is a so just a source of light and nothing else in a room it seems we need a source of light and an opaque object to see the shadow and of course a screen okay shadow has to form on the screen no so what are the things required for a shadow to form you need a source of light you need an opaque object and you also need a, a screen right there has to be a wall a ground a floor anything where the shadow will form so these are the three things which are required to form the shadow all right children okay now activity number three this is an activity that you will have to do in the dark. So in the evening, go out in the open ground with a few friends. Take a torch and a large sheet of cardboard with you. Hold the torch closely to the ground and shine it upwards so that it, its light falls on your friend's face. You know, you now have a source of light that is falling on the opaque object. If there are no trees, building or any other behind you, any other object behind you, would you see the shadow of your friend's head? This does not mean, see, there has to be some screen behind it for the shadows to be formed. In the first activity, we saw that to form the shadow, we need an opaque object and shadow or an opaque object and a, uh, the source of light. In this, we will see uh, that uh, uh, to form a shadow, we need the screen. Okay. 
So if there is no plant, no trees, no walls, where will the shadow form? So what does that mean? There is no shadow at all? After all, the light from the torch is not able to pass through this body to the other side. Now ask your other friend to hold the cardboard sheet behind your, behind your friend. Is the shadow now seen on the cardboard sheet? Yes. Thus, the shadows can only be seen or shadows can be seen only on a screen. The ground walls of a room. Okay. The ground walls of the room, they are all screens. A building or the other such surfaces acts as a screen for the shadow that you observe in everyday life. Shadows gives us information about shapes of objects. Sometimes shadows can also mislead us about the shapes of the object. 11.4 are a few shadows that we can create with our hands and make believe that they are shadows of different animals. Isn't it? So you can have, we have already done this much. You know? If we would have been in school, we would have done. So it's good to do that. I miss that school because in front of the projector, children used to make lots of shadows, you know, on the adicom board. And this was so fun. So this is one of the way uh, to create the, the misleading, I should say, misleading shapes uh, which will mislead the person that oh this is a dog this is a bird but actually they are the fingers isn't it okay so finally what we learned that to form the shadow we need three things what are the three things we need children tell me after this after the video and rest will continue in the next period